Velvet. Probably one of the most interesting and dynamic K-pop girl groups that we've seen in recent times. And yeah, they, they always bring something to do to the table. You never know what to expect from this group. I don't even know how to describe Red Velvet's concept. I should probably start by saying that they're the third generation girl group that debuted in 2014 from SM Entertainment. You know, that mega corporation that also has EXO and NCT. Yeah. Um, but Red Velvet, they debuted as four members, but then added Yuri, the fifth member, in um, 2015 with their debut, Ice Cream Cake. And yeah, Red Velvet basically have two concepts. The softer, more ballad-type songs, the Velvet concept, and the upbeat, fun songs, the Red concepts. But they often have an uncanny vibe about them, like creepy dolls, or I don't know. It's hard to explain. They've also got a bit of a retro jazz flair to some of their songs, and... It's definitely an interesting thing to explore. Yeah, Red Velvet have explored a lot of different sounds over the years. They've even done some downright bizarre experimental shit like Zemdalabum. By the way, I fucking hate this song. And yes, I will be talking about it again at another point. But at least it's different. But yeah, Red Velvet have some pretty by the numbers standard summer songs like Oompa Oompa Power Up, etc. And they're awesome. I think I finally decided I liked this song. But yeah, Red Velvet are a pretty darn versatile group. I don't really know what else to say about them. They're incredibly talented girls. And I can definitely understand people not liking all or most of their discography, but they're a lot more versatile than people let, let them on. Probably one of the best examples and probably one of my favorite K-pop songs from 2018, which was a superb year by the way for K-pop, was Bad Boy. This is a sexy, low-tempo R&B ballad with some great sensual energy and I love this. This song is absolutely spectacular and I have nothing else to say. They were able to recapture the similar magic just last year with the release of Psycho. It's wonderfully weird and I love it. But yeah, when Red Velvet does more mature or sexy concepts, I'm just here for it. This is something that I am absolutely in love with and I have nothing else to really say. Now, I enjoy Red Velvet's cute songs, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's kind of hard to see the older members singing Rookie or Power Up. Like, this might fit Yuri, but it certainly doesn't fit Irene. Not shading the song or anything, it's just a point. This is like something that Twice would make, but yeah. So... When SM announced they were going to be debuting a subunit with two of the members, Irene, Irene and Sulgi, I was intrigued. Now, Irene is the leader of the group. She's known for having kind of a cold demeanor. There's a joke that she hates men. I don't think that's true. Um, but yeah, her demeanor is kind of cold and she is, you know, sophisticated. Sulgi um, is the main dancer and Irene is a rapper in the group. And Sulgi is also quite a nice singer. And yeah, they're both really solid and have mature slash sexy images to their individualness. Now, Red Velvet as a group has not been active because Wendy unfortunately had a serious injury at the end of last year due to ne negligence and the fact that the stage on SBS wasn't safe, which I could go on a rant about why SBS is a terrible company for allowing this to happen. I could go on a rant why SM is a terrible company for not suing them over it. And I could go on a rant why SM is a terrible company for not promoting Red Velvet well otherwise. But we got a subunit of Irene and Sulgi. And what did we get with this? A mini album called Monster with the lead off single Monster. And what do we get here? Well, short answer, this is good. This is really good. Well, the, the title track at least. 
And yeah, this still feels distinctly red velvet, but with all the cuteness or other vibes stripped out of it, this is a fierce, sexy song. And it's weird and dark. Monster certainly hits you right in the face. And okay, maybe it's not as good as Exo's Monster, but this is still spectacular. And the girls really run it with this. The high-pitched piano to make that uncanny, spooky sound. It's honestly a great Halloween song. The bizarre electronic electronic notes, the, the dubstep vibe at Breakdown, the bizarre choreography, the weird lesbian themes of the video. I don't even know where I'm going with this. This is just something else. Again, love the choreography, love the vibe. This production is great. It's unconventional, it's weird. It's got that weird dubstep synth thing that they were doing in 2013. For the record, I actually like those songs, so Red Light by FX and Everybody by Shiny. But yeah, this is kind of in the vein of something like Red Light. It's a little bit slower tempo and more, more restrained than Red Light, but yeah, this is weird, as I mentioned. Yeah, it still has a pretty standard structure for a K-pop song. There's nothing that screams, oh my god, experimental, but the way it actually sounds is different, and... This is the kind of experimental that I like hearing, as opposed to Zim's album. It's not just unrestrained noise, and yes, I do have legitimate reasons why I just like Zim's album, and I will discuss it in a future video, probably, but yeah. As of right now, Monster is fantastic, and I really have nothing else to say. This song is easily one of the best comebacks of the year, and it's fantastic. Okay, and then what's the rest of the mini album? What do we get here? Well, this, the next song is Diamond, and this is a lot more sophisticated and stripped back, jazzy type song. It's definitely not as fierce as Monster, but again, this has a really sophisticated vibe to it. And it kind of does remind me of one of their songs like Automatic, one of their old group songs in this vein. And again, this is something that Red Velvet can do really well. And I enjoy this song. It doesn't really stick out to me quite the way Monster does, but Diamond is still a really enjoyable piece of music. I really like the girls' harmonies and the way the song sounds. Again, this is actually a really solid song. I can't say I like it more than Monster, but it's definitely different, and the vibe of this song sits really well. Then of course we have Feel Good, which is pretty darn snapping. This one's a bit up, more upbeat, but it does have that kind of darker sense tone to keep it feeling darker. And it's got this great pulse to it. And yeah, this isn't my favorite song on the album or anything, but I enjoy this a lot. It does kind of sound more like a contemporary K-pop song. It's nothing too crazy in terms of being experimental or anything, but again, it does have a bit darker undertone. It kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that more female solos have been doing recently, like Shunga or Sunmi. I don't know. But this is really sophisticated and I like it a lot. And then we have Jelly which is a bit odd. I do like the piano groove on this song, however, I don't find this song sticking out to me that much. Now, I can see this song growing on me a lot, even though it doesn't stick out to me instantly, and here's why. Here's the specific reason I can see this song growing on me. Remember a couple, about a month ago when I reviewed, when I reviewed, um, Waza's mini album, Maria, and I said why was an underwhelming song. Okay, I was wrong about that. This song is amazing. No, it's still not the best song on the album. LMM has that in the bag, but yeah. I slept on this, I will admit. So, yeah, that's why I'm kind of quick to make judgments here. I feel like Jelly could be could be a why case of something that could grow on me a ton. Not that this sounds anything like why, but this is cute. This is actually really fun and enjoyable, but again, probably the least memorable song for me. And then we have the bonus track, which is Uncovered. This is a Sulgi solo song, and I like this. 
The minimalist dark production really fits and again Sugi sounds great here. This is the type of thing that Sugi is able to pull off really well. And she comes off as really mature and sophisticated, kind of like Waza, which is something that I really appreciate hearing in modern K-pop music, because I find a lot of K-pop songs to be cutesy and a lot of girl groups to have this kind of cute image. I love hearing mature and sophisticated women in K-pop, and Sugi is definitely pulling that off here. And yeah, Uncover is great. The song is really darn solid, and I don't really have much else to say about it. So, at the end of the day, do I like this mini-album project? Yes. Am I going to be coming back to many of these songs individually? Probably not. Mainly Monster, maybe Diamond, and definitely Uncover. But, yeah. There isn't too much else to say other than this is a pretty darn little cohesive project of jazz songs and, you know, combining with more modern electronic elements. And it still feels like Red Velvet. It feels like Irene and Sulby through and through, and this is a fantastic experience. Now, let's talk about the last song, which isn't on this album, but was another single that they released called Naughty. And what do I think of this song? Oh, I love it. This, this production is kind of cluttered, but in a good way. And again, this song is mature, sensual, and but this one's full force, and I can't get enough of this, to be honest. Now, do I like this quite as much as Monster? I'm not really sure. I think if I was pressed, I would say I like Monster a bit more. But Naughty's still really darn good. My only complaint is the production is a bit cluttered, but yeah, no, this song is great. So, what do I think of this subunit? I think the subunit is a big yes. Honestly, again, this might not be the type of thing I want to seek out all the time, but Monster and Naughty are definitely songs I want to listen to, and Uncover is a song that I want in my playlist, so I don't really have anything else to say about this project or unit, other than I really want SM to do a unit with some of the other girls, maybe Yuri and Joy if Wendy's still injured, and she really should have recovered by now. Why haven't we heard anything, SM? No, but really. I would really like SM to do a unit with some of the other girls with maybe a cuter, more lighter concept. After this dark, sexy concept for Irene and Sugi, maybe get Yuri and Joy and do a cute concept. I think that would be neat to see, to play through the different member strengths. However, yeah, this is spectacular. I don't really have much else to say. And I'm gonna be giving, I don't, I'm going to be giving the EP a 4 out of 5, and I'm going to be giving Naughty a 4 out of 5 as well. So yeah, both fantastic, and I enjoy this a lot. But, I mean, this is something I was expecting out of an established group, so I really don't have much else to say. This is good.